All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a finally time for an artist appreciation, which I ain't gonna lie, I feel like it's been years, even though it's quite literally only been like a few months since I last did one. But still, nonetheless, today we're gonna be talking about coming ham. And no, and I know it sounds like cunning hairs from Zillow Zone Zero, but it's not. Also, since Cunningham has been around longer than they have, to be honest, they owe him money. And I think Nicole's heart stops when I just said that. But still, nonetheless, when it comes down to Cunningham, there is, at least from what I can find on Road to the Four, not a lot of art when it comes down to it or should i say animations which animating takes a long time so i don't necessarily be too surprised about that but still nonetheless there really at least again as rule did forego is not a lot that i've seen when it comes down to it but at the very same time the little bit of sauce that we do have is pretty damn nice now i actually have seen coming ham before and I've mainly seen the Harriet one with, you know, from Mario Odyssey with the rabbit girl who likes to bomb shit and throw nice spiky ass balls right at you for some dumb ass reason. But still, would I clap the hell at this rabbit chick? Yes. No discussion, no debate. I don't care if she's crazy. I don't care if she acts like she's on some clee timing. Doesn't matter. Clapping cheeks for days. How, the, how that plumber got some? I have no damn idea. But still, nonetheless, let me actually clean her damn pipes. But anyway, there is that animation. There is also a few Skullgirl ones, like two, which is having like Robo Fortune and Squiggly, which I'm not gonna lie, the Squiggly one kind of had me going a little bit. Because when it comes down to it, Squiggly was definitely having some juicy behind Booba. And definitely, I can understand why Levi didn't just, you know, stay inside her all the damn time. Like, if I get to taste some of that, you know, squeeze crazy ass zesty booba that squiggly has then yeah I, I probably act like you know a whole ass British person too just to touch upon squiggly like I think so too and arguably the more famous animation that they have is the one with Rouge basically trying to you know get some emeralds and whatever and essentially having to pay a certain price a price paid in white so that's just how it is but yeah when it comes down to a lot of the animation as you will probably see it is squash and stretch now obviously you will know what squash and stretch is if you have you know seen any cartoon for like the old ass 1920s and then also at the same time you would know that there is that type of level of squash and stretch in again ZZZ when it comes down to it it's just not as ridiculous and crazy but still it is a lot of squash and stretch also they can draw low punny really good like have y'all not seen some of this the full picture looks also great but at the same time just this alone is also really damn good like I would like to draw like this in the near future please but also i think he just came up with like one of the greatest ideas for a pokemon animation ever and i'm shocked that i don't think i've ever seen anybody done this before man's literally has an animation with i think a raw which is like the de-evolution of gardevoir if i'm not mistaken i don't know i'm not super huge on pokemon like that i know shocking i just lit fire to a whole city but when it comes down to it though there is an animation of where you have this Ralts and essentially you have them basically getting clapped while they're still in the Pokeball. Obviously can't show it but like imagine half open Pokeball and then the ass of Ralts just out there and you just basically have a legit portable owner hole. Like wow who thinks of this? Why didn't I think of that shit? Why didn't anybody else think of that shit? And that's some good ass sauce and idea and creativity that I like to see. This is the fun shit of Gen Time material that you just come up with a ridiculous idea thinking that it might be just a little out of pocket but at the same time it still works and it's amazing. Also yes I would definitely approve of clapping Ross because Ross is also you know pretty much on the law levels of things and definitely we could we can add her there we can definitely add her there i mean i know much about pokemon but for some ass yeah we can we can have that there oh apparently it's called acrylia you're a fucking dumbass so if I were to tell you which Pokemon that I do like outside of like Gardevoir obviously, I would say I like the Fire Fox one, the Fire Fox girl looking Pokemon, I think it's like Braxian or whatever. That that's that's the one that will be clappable, honestly. Play Pokemon Tournament, honestly, for the demo. 
it was Rouse. That was like the only one I actually give a damn for. One thing I want to add basically to their work is with the Rouge animation, they kind of go all out. I'm not going to necessarily lie. When you see Jintai kind of just pop out with an animation, they kind of just do a little bit of stalling and then they get right into it. And then with this one of Rouge, you kind of get a lot of good work here. You get a lot of like build up and, you know, set up when it comes down to it, which is something really damn good is it needed of course not we could just have rouge getting clapped here here and here but at the very same time the setup is also appreciated and i don't think people really appreciate that when it comes to jintai too much so it's worthy to give it a shout out honestly and also i just really like how the crystal and you know diamond looks in this as well because this looks mad good did you create this by hand if so i would like to know what program or software did you use to be actually very real with you so you know again props to this whole setup part because you get to the good part later but then this is also good as well so always taking what the artists do as like a whole because you know they didn't have to do all that but they did it anyway which honestly is appreciated but still nonetheless it gives you context as well too so that's also like a whole nother thing that's basically all i have to say about coming ham i actually spoke to them like last night regarding like dating apps and randomly for whatever reason but still nonetheless it was a pretty good conversation i would say and hopefully if this video does find them well then dope as hell but still nonetheless yeah, that's essentially all I really got for this one. We're trying to hit 3000K at least, but trying to really hit 10K before this year ends, if anything. So if you'd like to help us with that goal, please do, because oh my goodness, I swear, if I ha don't get this 10K, somebody's gonna get the AK. But that's just how that goes, though. But anyway, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification on the way out. Also, follow me on socials and like to donate to the channel. Ko fi and Cash App is available as well. And until then, it's Boy J, signing off. Have a blessed day.